While all eyes have been on Starbase as the hub for SpaceX's innovation, the company has been silently making significant progress in Florida that has shocked the entire rocket industry. With ambitions to turn Mars into a human colony, SpaceX has started the construction of a new facility in Florida that could rival even Starbase. Let's talk about these latest upgrades, how SpaceX hopes to expand its Florida operations, and how it will benefit the Starship's production. SpaceX has astounded the rocket industry with its rapid and continuous progress at Starbase. They have been building, testing, fixing, upgrading, and expanding at an unprecedented pace. While the world eagerly anticipates the launch of Starship 25 Booster 9 and awaits the FAA's response, something remarkable is happening right under everyone's noses within NASA's own realm. SpaceX is quietly working on a project so groundbreaking that it overshadows all competitors, even leaving NASA astonished. Starbase, situated in South Texas, stands as the world's premier spaceport. It is home to SpaceX's cutting-edge Starship rocket factory and launch pads, earning it the title of the gateway to Mars among the space community. This location is poised to become the launch site for numerous Starship flights every month, a feat unmatched in scale by any other rocket company, including NASA, the largest government-run space agency in the US. Starbase's launch infrastructure in Texas is incredibly complex, surpassing anything seen before. In April, Starbase witnessed the launch of the world's largest and most powerful rocket, marking a significant milestone in space exploration. Presently, the site is gearing up for its second Starship launch scheduled for October. The facility is a hub of activity, with continuous prototype production and rigorous testing in preparation for this upcoming launch. Elon Musk's ambitions extend far beyond Starbase, as he envisions Starship becoming a common mode of transportation globally. His plan involves establishing a launch network on a much larger scale than one might imagine. SpaceX's first target for this ambitious endeavor was the launch facility in Florida. In late 2021, SpaceX embarked on the construction of the second version of Starship's Florida pad, known as Orbital Launch Site 2. This site is situated at Kennedy Space Center's LC-39A pad, leased by SpaceX from NASA. However, due to NASA's concerns about potential Starship failures, which could cause delays in SpaceX's Crew Dragon or Falcon Heavy contracts with the agency, progress on Starship's Florida pad was initially slow. Despite these challenges, SpaceX has made remarkable strides in just 13 months. During this time, SpaceX laid foundations, modified one of Pad 39A's large spherical tanks to store cryogenic methane, installed extensive plumbing, and constructed a second skyscraper-sized Starship launch tower. Additionally, they set up the legs of the Pad's Orbital Launch Mount, OLM, and implemented a water deluge system at the base of the OLM. Off-site, most of the donut-like MM's mount was assembled, SpaceX also built a new supersized storage tank and delivered numerous smaller storage tanks. SpaceX has achieved a significant milestone by fabricating a massive pair of steel arms, which they affectionately refer to as chopsticks. These arms were transported to Pad 39A in Florida, attached to a wheeled vehicle, and then installed on the Starship launch tower. This tower, along with the arms, is what CEO Elon Musk has dubbed Mechazilla. Mechazilla encompasses the combined launch tower and arms designed by SpaceX to catch, lift, stack, and fuel both stages of the Starship. Once completed, the tower's arms in Florida will have the capability to precisely catch, handle, stack, and unstack the Starship and Super Heavy spacecraft, even in relatively windy conditions. It's worth noting that building the Starship launch tower is a colossal engineering feat, far from being an easy task. Many engineers consider this ground structure to be even more challenging than the production of the Starship spacecraft itself. SpaceX has not only constructed a launch tower in Texas, but has also built an additional one in Florida during the initial rocket testing phase. In Florida, SpaceX has set numerous records, making it impossible for any rocket company or space organization, including NASA, to ignore their achievements. The Falcon 9 rocket has proven to be a true workhorse in Florida, breaking records and demonstrating exceptional performance. To understand the depth of Falcon 9's accomplishments, consider its latest record. As of now, Falcon 9 has completed 66 launches, However, the remarkable feat occurred after its 62nd launch when it surpassed the previous record of 61 Falcon flights in a single year, achieved at the end of 2022. This means Falcon 9 launched approximately every three. Nine days, a significant improvement from its 2022 average of one launch every five, nine days. To illustrate this rapid pace, SpaceX achieved its 10th launch of 2023 by February 12th, its 20th by late March, 30th in the second week of May, 40th in mid-June, and 50th and 60th at the tail ends of July and August. Comparatively, in 2022, it took until the second week of March to reach 10 flights mid-July to achieve 20, early September to get to 30, and the beginning of November to surpass 50 launches. Considering this trajectory, it's entirely conceivable that SpaceX could exceed 90 missions before the end of 2023. 
In the course of this year, nearly 60% of SpaceX's missions have revolved around deploying Starlink internet satellites into orbit. Since the beginning of the year, SpaceX has undertaken three crewed missions to the ISS and launched three Falcon Heavy rockets. It's evident that the key driving force behind SpaceX's increasing launch frequency lies in the company's ability to recycle rocket boosters and first stage components. A pivotal development occurred in July when SpaceX launched its Falcon 9 booster for the 16th time. Engineers extended the first stage's lifespan from 15 flights to 20 missions, a significant achievement. According to SpaceX, this extended usability is currently reserved for Starlink launches, underscoring the company's commitment to maximizing the potential of its equipment. Additionally, SpaceX's launch teams have been working tirelessly to optimize their launch sites for faster turnaround times. At SpaceX's busiest launch site in Florida, the turnaround time has been reduced to less than four days between missions this year. This reduction in time is crucial, especially given that SpaceX's other launch facility in Florida is often constrained by Falcon Heavy missions and crewed launches, both of which typically require more preparation time for each flight. In California, SpaceX's West Coast launch site has been the backdrop for 18 Falcon 9 missions. Unlike its Florida counterpart, the launch site in California boasts an older design, which requires more time to set up for each mission. One notable difference is the robust back structure that resembles a vertical gantry structure positioned alongside the rocket during the final countdown. Unlike the retractable backs in Florida, these sturdy structures in California remain in place during liftoff, enduring the fiery plume of exhaust as the Falcon 9 ascends. Consequently, this setup leads to more refurbishment requirements between launches. Despite these challenges, SpaceX's ground team in California has demonstrated remarkable efficiency, managing Falcon 9 missions with turnaround times as short as 10 days. It's worth noting that out of 44 other SpaceX launches this year, all have taken off from Florida. The spaceport in Florida has been exceptionally busy, supporting 46 orbital launches involving SpaceX, ULA, and Relativity Space. This already exceeds the 57 launches hosted there last year. Officials from the US Space Force Space Launch Delta, the agency responsible for overseeing launch operations at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station and Kennedy Space Center, have efficiently coordinated their activities to meet the growing demand for launches, largely driven by SpaceX. In the remaining quarter of the year, SpaceX has a packed schedule of pre-scheduled launches, including their Starlink missions, aiming to reach a total of 100 launches in 2023. During this busy period, there is one more scheduled Falcon Heavy rocket launch planned for a mission with the US Space Force in November. SpaceX also intends to conduct a Falcon 9 rocket launch carrying a commercial lunar lander developed by Intuitive Machines, a Houston-based company aspiring to achieve the first privately owned spacecraft landing on the moon. Moreover, there are two resupply missions to the International Space Station, ISS, in the pipeline, both utilizing Falcon 9 rockets. One mission will employ SpaceX's Dragon cargo capsule, while the other will transport a Northrop Grumman supply ship into orbit. Notably, this marks the initiation of at least three Northrop Grumman resupply missions utilizing SpaceX rockets following the retirement of their Antares launcher. Lastly, the Missile Defense Agency has plans to launch the hypersonic and ballistic tracking space sensor mission into orbit later this year using a Falcon 9 rocket. This innovative sensor is equipped with improved sensitivity, specifically designed for the detection and tracking of hypersonic missiles. These missiles pose unique challenges due to their lower heat signatures compared to larger long-range ballistic missiles, making them more elusive for existing missile tracking satellites. SpaceX has expressed a desire to launch Starship from its smaller rocket launch facility in Florida, but NASA, the site owner, has imposed restrictions due to concerns about potential interference with Crew Dragon launches. Crew Dragon is vital for NASA's ISS missions, and they rely solely on it to reach the International Space Station, ISS. To address NASA's concerns, SpaceX quickly proposed an alternative solution. They constructed a new launch pad specifically for Crew Dragon. For those new to the Starship program, it's important to note that Starbase, SpaceX's facility in Texas, was not initially intended as the launch site for SpaceX Starship. Instead, it primarily serves as a facility for the production and testing of advanced Starship technologies. Elon Musk, the head of SpaceX, has always maintained the ultimate goal of launching Starship missions from Launch Complex 39A, LC-39A in Florida, possibly from a new pad that has yet to be established. In 2022, significant progress was made toward the objective of launching Starship from Florida, with the nearly completed Starship launch tower located next to the Falcon 9 mount at LC-39A. However, due to concerns stemming from a mishap during the first Starship flight, most Starship operations at Florida's facility have been temporarily halted. The reason behind this pause lies in the fact that LC-39A currently stands as the sole US site capable of launching Crew Dragon capsules. Crew Dragon is the only spacecraft available to transport astronauts to the ISS, 
making the launch pad a national asset rather than just for experimental flights. If a Starship were to experience an incident during launch, there is a risk that LC-39A could become unavailable. This concern is grounded in past incidents. When a Falcon 9 rocket exploded at LC-40 in 2016, causing extensive damage and requiring a complete rebuild, SpaceX took 15 months to revive the launch pad. In other words, if a Starship launch were to fail and destroy the Falcon and Dragon facilities at Pad 39A, it could take between 12 to 18 months to restore the site, potentially disrupting NASA's access to the International Space Station. NASA's alternative to Dragon, the Boeing Starliner, has faced significant delays and is not yet qualified for crewed missions, making it incapable of taking over supply duties for the ISS. Given this high-stakes situation, it becomes crucial to conduct rigorous testing and explore alternative launch options for crewed flights before Starship can be approved for launches from Florida. SpaceX is actively addressing this concern by working on viable alternatives. To the southwest of Space Launch Complex 40, SpaceX has its Roberts Road facility. This location houses SpaceX's Falcon 9 refurbishment facility, Hangar X, and the Cape Canaveral Star Factory. Notably, an access tower is being constructed for SpaceX's crew and cargo Dragon missions. The third section of this tower is now in place. Once complete, this new tower will alleviate congestion at Pad 39A, which is currently the sole pad equipped for Dragon launches. The construction site is bustling with activity, with numerous cranes and elevators surrounding various sections. The elevator shaft and stairs are visible in the smaller sections at the back, while the larger front section is expected to house the crew access elevator on launch day. Typically, the crew arrives at the launch pad and uses a specialized elevator known as the crew access arm to board the spacecraft. This retractable walkway extends from the launch tower to the spacecraft, ensuring safe boarding for the crew, whether it's a Dragon spacecraft or another type of vehicle. The construction of an additional tower specifically for Crew Dragon missions underscores SpaceX's commitment to establishing a robust and secure pathway for crewed missions. This proactive approach minimizes risks to critical ISS access points. As the crew elevator nears completion, it signals SpaceX's readiness to potentially launch Starship in the near future. Moreover, a significant sign of progress is evident as SpaceX steadily expands its operational area. A recently published environmental assessment draft outlines the expansion plans for Roberts Road. The primary proposal includes a northward expansion of the current facility, necessitating the acquisition of an additional 100 acres of land by SpaceX. In this extensive 231-page document, the focal point is SpaceX's ambitious proposal to triple the size of its current facility to nearly 150 acres. This expansion plan envisions the construction of two key buildings. The first is a smaller structure likely designated for office space, while the second is a considerably larger building, potentially serving as the second star factory. This proposed expansion is marked by its efficiency, aiming for swift completion within the span of two to three years. To facilitate this expansive growth, most utility services, including electrical, fiber, and water connections, could be extended from the existing Roberts Road facility. The proposal also includes a request to widen the Saturn Causeway, the road linking the iconic vehicle assembly building with pad LC-39A. Currently, this road is 8 meters wide, posing a challenge for maneuvering Starship, which is 9 meters wide. SpaceX aims to widen the road to 10, 3 meters, allowing ample space for Starship transporters. In addition to the positive news about SpaceX expanding its presence in Florida, plans are underway for building a Starship production facility next to Hangar X in the state. Regardless of the specific details, the crucial aspect is that Florida has been chosen as the primary launch site for Starship in the future. Significant developments in this location are undoubtedly essential, whether they unfold sooner or later. Elon Musk reaffirmed this decision during a gathering at Starbase, emphasizing the future role of Starbase as SpaceX's advanced research and development location. It will serve as the place where they test new designs and versions of the rocket. According to Musk, Kennedy Space Center will likely serve as their main operational launch site. However, challenges arise, especially in SpaceX's Boca Chica location, where there are concerns about safety due to the potential for fiery crashes. Environmental issues around Starbase have also raised concerns, leading to scrutiny and legal action from government agencies and environmental organizations. Obtaining launch permits at this facility proves to be cumbersome and complex, causing delays in launches that could impact critical space missions. The significance of Hangar X goes beyond SpaceX's internal operations, as it serves as a crucial space where NASA and SpaceX occasionally open their doors to astronauts. These astronauts get a first-hand view of the very rockets that will propel them toward the ISS. With the new proposal, both NASA and SpaceX stand to benefit strategically from the expansion efforts. SpaceX plans to bolster its operations in Brevard County by constructing additional infrastructure. This expansion initiative includes the construction of more office space and industrial facilities while upgrading existing amenities. The estimated construction period is two to three years, and once completed, the location will be put into immediate use. 
Essentially, SpaceX envisions the consolidation of diverse operations spanning from the Falcon programs to the innovative Starship endeavors into a unified and centralized campus. This consolidation aims to facilitate easier oversight, streamlined operation and increased efficiency, marking a significant step toward enhancing the collaborative efforts between SpaceX and NASA. With the Starship's second test flight facing constant delays in Texas, this new facility in Florida could prove to be the answer to SpaceX's development problems. What do you think? Should SpaceX move its Starship production facilities to another state? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.